downtown Whiteville, Tennessee. Never been through here before. That's pretty cool. Pretty neat little downtown area. This is something right here. Alright, so Governor Haslam is going to sign the broadband bill right here uh, in just a few moments. move over toward the other side of the building so he's probably just walked in over there Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Brownsville, Tennessee. We want to ask all our speakers if you can make your way to the podium so we can be seated. We do want to stay on schedule. We respect the governor's schedule. We know we have a lot of busy people here today. But let me say I'm so excited about the talent that's gathered here in the room today. The elected officials, the commissioners, the constituents, and the leaders in our community. Just thank you all so much for coming. This is an awesome, awesome day for Tennessee, West Tennessee, and Haywood County. I think we got everybody situated. That was easy. Um, once again, I want to say thank you for all that came today, for all the hard work that went to putting this together. Uh, today we celebrate the Rural Task Force, the first quarterly meeting, the history of the state of Tennessee. Uh, the Governor's Rural Task Force is a monumental historical event. And let me just say this because I might not get a chance to say it again, but Governor Haslam, thank you. Thank you for your leadership and your vision because the book of Proverbs teaches where there's no vision, the people will perish. And this man has shown tremendous leadership, vision, not just talk, but he's been a man of action. A man of action. He sent out the cry across the state of Tennessee. Like, let's not settle for what is when what can be is so beautiful and has so much potential. And the cornerstone is this drive to 55, the Tennessee Reconnect and the Tennessee Promise. What an awesome, awesome opportunity to be in public service in the state of Tennessee. Governor Hasma, I thank you. You've just been a tremendous leader. I can't say enough about you. Today, we have an agenda with several speakers. Another example of thinking outside the box and moving forward in the state where we see rural communities that suffer to have disparities. We see counties like Ray County with the city of Dayton, who took the bull by the horns, used the resources they had in their community to advocate for a better day, for jobs, for community development, and quality of life for every man, woman, and child in Ray County. We want that same type of energy, that same type of forethought to spread across the state of Tennessee as we move forward in our future. I want to introduce you to uh, Mr. Dennis Tumlin. He's the economic and tourism developer for Ray County. He has a lot of exciting things he wants to share with us this morning. Dennis, if you take the podium. Thank you, Mayor. Our 49th Governor, Bill Haslam. Welcome. Please be thanks. It is great to be here. Actually, I need a personal note real quick. Uh, I'm, I, I want to thank uh, Greg Birch and Wayne Hunt. Where are you guys? 
Thank you. This is their building we're in. Thank you all for letting us use this. I'll go ahead and sign this, and if those folks, if those of you could gather around behind me, if all the members of the legislature over here uh, could come join us behind, that would be great. Oh, okay. And I'll, former uh, Commissioner Randy Boyd is here with ECD, was help, did a lot of leadership when we put all that together. Randy's over here. Thank you. And man, anyway, I, I could go on forever as I see people who are part of this effort, but thank you all so much for, for doing that. Okay. That was the part where we see if the governor can sign his name. Yeah. You probably <laughs> can. Everybody will look down until we sign and look up again. Second bill. The second bill we've seen signed on the channel. <laughs> so uh, this one's actually going to have a lot of uh, once again. Thank you everybody for coming. For us. Uh, in about 10 minutes or exactly 2 p.m., we're going to convene upstairs for the World Task Force quarterly meeting. All right, so we're actually in downtown Brownsville now. I'm going to check out everything. See their downtown area. We're actually looking for um, the mind field, uh, the art installation that we that spoke about uh, yesterday. Oh wow, look at the fountains over there, Jessica. That's really cool. There it is. Yep, there it is. All right. We're just uh, coming through downtown here, and there is the minefield. You can see the uh, wow, some of there on the horizon. Three fire towers now. This installation was started by Mr. Billy Tripp, and um, he's just constantly building on it. It's pretty amazing. I'm not really sure. I have to figure out where we can park. So the people here at the hotel are really nice to tell us that we can just go in and 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 look at this thing. Uh, this installation was put in by Mr. Billy Tripp, and uh, I'm not sure of all the story behind it right now. I'm gonna do some uh, research uh, on it online later. I've heard a lot of stories, a lot of stories, but. Um, I don't know which stories are true, which ones are not. So, but honestly, sometimes uh, fiction is better. I don't think it's done. Until he passes away. Yeah. It's really hard to explain how vast it is from the ground. Um, I say we take the drone up and see what we can find. And to give you some idea, some perspective, that's the skyline of this thing. Here's our car. And it wraps around this hotel where we're standing. I mean, it's just huge.
All right, so I was afraid of. I still got, I think I still got some good stuff. There's so much metal here. It is really interfering with the video signal on the drone. So a lot of the footage I got, I was having to watch the drone. I was flying pretty blind. But I think we got some really cool shots. You got to see some stuff you wouldn't normally see. Um, like I believe the creator's name is on top of the water tower. Uh, painted in a circle around the top of it. But like I said, the video link was really bad, so I couldn't really see what was going on. So we'll check the footage when we get back. So here we are now at the Heritage Museum here in uh, Okay. Have any of y'all ever been here before? No. Okay. No, but I've met Miss Sonia. I'm a man of tourism. Oh, how are you? I'm good. I was just here for the governor's signing, and so we're going to... This is presented by Opportunity, so... Okay. Well, most people start this way. They save the Tina Turner Museum for the last. But as you go down this way, you're going to have the... All right, so now we're in the Brownsville uh, Heritage Museum. And we're actually going through. Right now, they've got on display. Check this out. This is really cool. These are a lot of... Uh, President Abraham Lincoln artifacts that are actually on display uh, that a collector has on loan for them. So, uh, a lot of really cool... ...political posters and such. This gentleman here is, is not really real, <laughs> but he's, he's creeping us out. I keep waiting for him to move. I think he blinked. Call me Uncle Luther. Oh my God. Maybe you can join me at my favorite place in the whole wide world, the Hatchie River. Why don't you take a load off your feet and have a seat and let me tell you a little story about the Hatchie. My great-grandfather came on a wagon train in 1823 when he was just 12 years old. And, well, they settled right... So, well, they actually have one of Tina's gold records on display from Capitol. There's a I can Tina right there. And there's a little piece of McNary County hanging right here in the Heritage Museum. One of our very own Hockaday brooms. is really cool they've got a map of the world and the pins represent where people are from that have visited here and we're really curious to how these two people got in and got out all right guys so we're about to uh, take you inside uh, the school where uh, Tina Turner went to the first and the eighth grade or first through the eighth grade the school was moved here to the museum and uh, put in a place that was actually donated to the city. And first we're going to go in here just the home of legendary blues pioneer, Sleepy John Estes.
I would say this has been slightly renovated. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so it's time to go to Best Buy and exchange this camera and get one that's not going to fall off of my tripod. <laughs> no. Ha, ha, ha.